The procedures which I am following is this. This is the codes which are which we are going to uh, run in this machine to get the GUI uh, GUI capabilities. Or we are just installing the desktop version of Ubuntu. The best part is this thing is the so uh, this is the procedure. So this is the procedure which I uh, which I have mentioned here. So thanks to uh, Techno World HD for providing these steps. So some in some point of this video, like installing the no machine in your uh, Ubuntu, it won't work. So I just um, made some slight changes in my script and just doing it. So it will be confusing. I understand, but when i go through here it will be easy so this currently we are inside our uh, virtual machine now uh, it is important uh, it is a uh, initial step whenever uh, we install the new uh, um, uh, ubuntu system it is important to update the libraries and files for that we have this command sudo apt get update so this sudo will provide the super user uh, do super user access to us so we are just copying it and right click okay it will right click mode so you can press ctrl v and enter okay now we have this commands sudo apt upgrade command we are just pasting it and we are just upgrading it don't worry i will just leave all the comments in the description of the video or else i will just give this text file you can just copy and do uh, thing. so in this part we are just installing the ubuntu desktop version so which will enable us to use the new i it is asking yes or no we are just type yes why and enter after that we are just adding the user so i already have the user called techfanger so in this part i'm just using my same name of the vdi which is uh, techfanger's one so i'm going to use the same name here as well it takes some time so please be patient so once the desktop installation has been done it will show this name green color so yeah it means it's done now after installing this one we are now going to add the user so sudo add user the username which i am going to set is stephansius1 for example it is important it is uh, it is good if we make it as simplest as simple as possible so it will ask for the password so i will just put password okay okay so it will ask for the full name you no need to press you no need to give anything you just keep this as default enter 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 is information correct if you if you while typing this one or uh, password if you made any mistake you can press no and you can redo this process again in my case it is correct so i'm just giving yes that's all now the user uh, creation part is done now we are going to uh, make that user as admin okay paste sudo user mod it means user modification a append and group sudo and we are admin adding tech fanciers okay so here if you are using a different user or if you have just typed an example or something, just put example here. So in my case, it is 
tech fanciers one so i'm just giving it after that we are just making our part so long in okay now we just get into the root uh, root folder uh, where uh, sorry root permission where we will be having the access to the root uh, files and libraries so from here we are just going to like uh, vim vim from this is the root folder so if it is empty it means it is from the root it is like etc folder sss folder and sshd d config so this is the file vim is one of the uh, uh, ubuntu's uh, um, text editor from here we are going to edit the file to add that user so like this only uh, we will be getting so if if in case if we are not using gui we are just using this command prompt or terminal to build the home means uh, whenever if you want to edit something you can use the vm editor like this it will be happen so you need to like edit here so currently we need to change only one thing in uh, so this is the end we will be having like uh, password authentication so here we need to from no we need to change it to yes now you can't edit because it is in view mode to change it to uh, edit mode you need to press i now you can see here it is showing as insert so you can insert text now i'm just today uh, i'm typing yes once you editor this one just press escape it will remove this part insert now you need to type colon w q which will save this and create this uh, page create this file so colon w q and enter okay now we have saved the file i guess you can view it okay so here uh, password authentication depending on you this one okay this is which is the here you can see that password authentication is now yes so the file is got saved like this you can check it once we have checked it uh, we can put as sudo apt update so to reflect these changes so sudo apt update and then sudo w W get so uh, this is uh, this part uh, sudo apt yes install w get so w get is one of the tool from which it will uh, gather the file from the URL so we'll mostly having this one already so if you press uh, w get yes w get we have the w get inbuilt in 18.04 if you are having any older older version it is important that you have uh, using this one so now in this part uh, i need to get into my uh, base machine and go base machine uh, whenever i'm mentioning as base machine it is my uh, uh, desktop okay it's not virtual machine so if i press no machine and i need to install this one download and install so this one i already have it with me here i will show you how to how you can do this one 
okay i have this file the next part is so you have this one for your machine and for this uh, here you need to be having that uh, no machine file debian file so uh, we are just going here and we need to download this one for linux so here i'm just typing it download no machine for linux so our sys debian amd64 so debian so when i press download it will be downloading so the thing which we need is this url so just right click and copy the link address now go to this cancel it and uh, go to the server and wget and you need to paste this one okay and enter so here you can see it is currently downloading this file so the file has been downloaded now now we are going to install this one so this is the way you can install it like uh, sudo the supervisor do dpkg which is decrypt the package and install this one okay but the version which we have installed is the latest one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this one and type 12.3 underscore 7 and tab it will automatically fill okay so it is one of the cool feature whenever if you have to fill something you can press tab it will automatically fill based on the uh, library files inside this one we have this file so it is automatically get, uh, get uh, got the name so if you press enter it will be installing okay so once we have installed the file we need to reboot this server so sudo reboot okay here now you can go here and stop this machine so the one which we are currently using is techfanzius1 so now we need to set up some changes in the firewall of this machine so how to do that i know these processes are look some uh, little bit uh, uh, complex maybe uh, but it is not like that it's a one time process once we once you have the uh, environment you can you are ready to go you don't need to follow these things under in the future so please come so now it is stopped so once it is stopped just to go to uh, home page from here go down networking vpc networking vpc networking and inside the vpc network you have the firewall just click the firewall and you need to create new new firewall rule i already have created it so once you click create new firewall just click and I'm just setting the name as here I have this one okay name as no machine colon five one this one is already used because I have already have it so this one and the source IP is Source IP is 0.0.0.0 Okay Tags The tag also the same No machine FW Okay And Create
okay so here we need to select the tcp protocol 4000 which is the default uh, 400 or 4000 4000 which is the default uh, protocol for the no machine server so we are setting it as 4000 and then create rule now i'm not creating the rule because i already have it so you need to set the name as no machine fw description which is not required but you can give it a no view and targeted uh, target tags no machine hyphen fw and source ip ranges 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 and create now i'm canceling if you have doubts we i have i already have the no machine uh, firewall rule as you can see targeted no machine 0.0.0.0 forward slash 0 tcb 4000 and that's all okay so now we have the firewall rule this rule needs to be assigned to the machine which we have created it so i'm just going to vm instances and selecting this i guess i need to edit okay okay here i need to add the tag which is instances edit new tag this one i'm just clicking this one and pasting here so this tag needs to be added here rest all the things are same you can just save it so now we have defined the new uh, firewall rule which will allow us to access the virtual machine from outside or from the environment outside of the environment so now it is ready we'll just fire up it so we uh, we will be having this one uh, virtual no machine needs to be installed in your uh, base machine in your windows i already have it in here as you can see if you are first time you need to install next 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 and you need to open it so now i'm just doing this one so that it will be easy for you okay Okay. So once you have installed it, click next, next, next. You will be having this screen. This is the screen. So, okay. Currently, my media is running. So the only one thing which I need is this external IP. The second thing is the password, which I used to create the user so we are we can't directly use the vdi we are just using it from the user which we have added in my case it is tech fanciers one so what i'm going to do is what we need to do is just copy this one and go to machine click new and it is nx yes host is this one and 4000 it is the port default port which you have selected there and then it is password yes password and don't use the proxy yes the name i'm setting as tech fanciers one okay create link on desktop not required done now i am going to click connect so it is asking attendancy host so now it is showing the sha uh, fingerprints and all this is fine just yes it is asking for the password the username is techfanciers1 and the password will be my password which i have set while this one save this password in the connection file yes it will ask detect anything yes you just click yes okay 
so do not show this again okay okay so now we have our virtual machine installed so if you want to change any other settings of the base machine if you go here in the corner here it will show this page icon if you click you will be having this in the display i always use fit to window maybe fit to window or yeah fit to window what resize window screen okay resize window screen so this one i guess okay okay so whenever if you resize it it will automatically resize based on your screen so that will be good and if you feel this one is little bit bare it went okay so now we have connected i don't know why it is closing Okay, next next no don't send anything done so it is asking to upgrade it so i am not upgrading it yes okay so this is the screen which you need to start build the environment